what is two stories tall, can lift the weight of 40 cars over its head, and weighs more than a 737? The Letourneau L2350, the largest front end loader in the world. The Letourneau Company of Longview, Texas builds these giants to load coal, gold and copper ore, and other minerals into equally giant trucks. Well, this is a 53 cubic yard rock bucket. Again, the machine has a total hoist capacity of 80 tons. To put this in perspective, the 53 cubic yard capacity is equivalent to about five normal dump trucks that you might see going up and down the road. Wheel loaders are relatively young in the excavator family. In the 1920s, several implement manufacturers began building scoop attachments that fitted to the front of farm tractors. It wasn't until after World War II that manufacturers began making special purpose loaders. Since then, they've grown up. The Letourneau Company has a long history building front end loaders. But this is the very first L2350 to roll off the assembly line. Near the plant, there's a test site where the machine is put through its paces. The need for the 2350 was born from the need to load bigger trucks. Um, the, the dump trucks are getting bigger and bigger. If you can move more dirt with less people, uh, that's the name of the game. Engineers worked for two years to design the 2350. Their goal was to build a machine capable of lifting 50% more than its predecessor. The dilemma that we faced were tires. There just was not a tire big enough. So we partnered with the engineers at Firestone to develop the world's largest tire. The tires are 13 feet tall, they're over five feet wide, and they're truly the biggest pieces of rubber that you'll see. Tuno builds many of the parts for the 2350 at their Longview plant. The company even operates a steel mill. That's what we have here is an L2350 frame. Now, this is very early in the assembly process, so it's fairly bare. But what we have back here at the very end is the radiator. Now this radiator has a capacity of about 150 gallons of coolant. Impressed? Check out what's under the hood. Well, what we have here is an example of a very large 16-cylinder diesel engine. Now this one's turbocharged and after-cooled. It produces about 2,300 horsepower. And when it's in operation in our loader, it's going to consume fuel at the rate of about 50 gallons per hour. The diesel engine turns a generator, which actually supplies power to the four electric traction motors, providing propulsion. Massive 16-inch hydraulic cylinders lift the big bucket. We could dig an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just a few scoops. I know we just have to be the envy of all the kids that are playing in their sandbox. We just happen to have the biggest sandbox and the biggest toys to play with. 